Okay, now the um, another little thing, which is a bit, it's probably a bit of a luxury thing to do here, um, but I'm just going to take a look at these teeth. Um, I'll just take a quick look at the teeth here, because some of the stuff we've done, you know, even if she doesn't have, you know, yellow teeth in, in the beginning, because we push things in uh, certain directions, the teeth are not coming across very nicely. So you can see here, just by pulling over the teeth, we've got a huge wide range of hues, which is going to be far too much to start to deal with. We can't even limit it that far. So what we're going to have to do is, um, again, combine our HSL key with a small vignette. Take a little look in there. I have a feeling that's going to be the highlights. Maybe not. That's saturation. Bump the softness up quite a large amount on the vignette. Make that smaller. Okay, so let's come to our final bit here. We'll turn that off. And I'm just going to take the saturation down. Don't want to take it too far down. If you take it too far down, everything starts looking really weird, especially in, in context. So again, the, this, this art, it's all about making things better without being too obvious. So if something looks weird and pops out at you, then that's not a good thing. Mm, yeah. Definitely not going to go any further than that. I think I've gone you know, too far there. There we go. Okay, so now we've got the... Um, tricky bit which isn't actually all that tricky we've got the bit where we have to sort of move, match this move because her face moves around all over the place so i'm going to set a keyframe with control and nine or i can go up to timeline a keyframe come up here face doesn't move too much but it moves a bit quite a bit there so control and nine to add another keyframe then just to move that down Kind of get away with it until about there. So control and nine again. And that's all fine. Till she moves her head again. Quite lucky because we've we've limited our hue so much that we don't get the lips in. So that's um that's why we don't have to do a much wider range of keyframes. Simpler the better. Wacom tablet jumped, so let's move that back into the right place. There we go, just check to make sure we're not seeing it visible and sort of bleeding into the skin at any point. That's looking okay. Okay. My final secondary I'm going to do here, because I've already um, done three secondaries.